what's good what's up welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you don't know already my name is elena i'm with my girl g money say what's good what's good what's good say what's up what's up <laughs> i'm back we're about to sesh with you guys i'm sparking up this woo right now and this is what it looks like you guys were just on live with us and we were asking what kind of big sister advice would you guys like so that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video let's get it let's get it let's get it so big sis advice we are both big sisters alexis is the only sister the oldest sister i am the girl oldest i'm the second oldest of five and i have two sisters and two brothers so we're just gonna go off of a couple topics and just kind of bounce off of it somebody asked us advice on living on your own oh just gotta do it just gotta take that step how about you start when you first moved out because you moved out way before i did so i feel like our um experience might be a little different you can do it you mm -hmm. can get it done and i've always said that anything that i've done or been able to do you guys can do as well you just have to make the moves to get there and something that i'm even still learning to this day with being independent and living on my own is it's okay to ask for help mm -hmm. it's a big thing ask for help ask for guidance ask your questions because it will help you along the way to get to where you want to be well i moved out when covid happened and i moved three and a half hours away from my family i would say like the biggest thing i learned is i don't know i just like loved the freedom but also like there'd be days where i'm like damn like i'm so far from home like i wish i could just drive home right now so i mean you have your days but i think it's worth it and i think it's nice to have your own space because it also forces you to grow up forces you to adult forces you to start paying bills to really start taking care of yourself too Mm -hmm. I think it's definitely very lonely at first. I always like to like... Well, see, you moved out by yourself and lived on your own mm -hmm. for a little bit, whereas I always had roommates. Mm -hmm. So I never felt that. I almost felt like I wish I lived on my own at first because mm -hmm. I like my space. I'm a very clean person. But yeah, living with roommates is kind of a lot. Like four. I lived with four people. Like you said, it forced me to be independent and to get right, shit done on my own. I was gonna say, own. look at you now. I mean, and to like find my way. You pay your own bills. You have a beautiful little space. You have your own car. Period. I mean, that's adulting. That's independency. I mean, you just have to go out and do it, and just take a leap of faith. Just do it, you know. And little moves are big moves, mm -hmm. baby. Like it'll pay off. You know, you're yeah. gonna have your good and bad days. What's something you feel like you needed to hear from a big sister? That's a good question. Comment down below as well. What is something that you felt like you needed to hear from a big sister? That's a great question. I needed to be pushed out of my comfort zone just a little bit more. Okay. I like that. Because I don't know. But I don't know because- And it, it, I guess it depends on like in certain aspects of life kind of like like a hype man yeah like a, yeah like somebody to kind of like uplift you i don't know i guess i didn't ever have that like relationship where i could tell somebody everything like that sibling relationship i feel like if like that's where i missed out it's that. just they don't they're not leaving the door open to allow that and that's not your fault but i gave it to me i mean i didn't start having like a good relationship with my brother until i moved back home Alexis was saying we should talk about like older sister struggles and I feel like being an older sister is really tough because you're there to set an example I feel mm -hmm. like all the time and I know friends who feel that way about like younger siblings like they feel like they're almost like another parent yeah I was I was there for my youngest brother's birth like I basically helped raise him honestly it's just like the pressure I feel like I have to do what my parents didn't do because mm -hmm. I'm the oldest, I'm the only girl, like, I don't know. Like, you had 
you, you need to show up where I can. Okay? Yeah, like where they didn't show up. Like I have to like remind them like what like a good life they've given me compared to what they had. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like they didn't have it so great growing up. Mm -hmm. That's hella interesting too. That's that's so true, and I think everyone can agree when you have when you're the oldest or the youngest, like the parenting styles definitely change mm -hmm. over the years and the way that maybe you were raised by your parents is not the same that your little siblings have been raised by your parents and there's definitely a lot of like okay <laughs> yeah and a lot of generational change like yeah things are not the same on how they fucking grow up you yeah. know like we have tiktok now we have phones now we have all these things all these distractions and it's just a lot like my brother is seven years old, and he should not be talking like he is 30 years old. Yeah. I'm sorry. He should not. Like, yeah. please be seven-year-old. Do not be, like, a teenager. Like, enjoy. Like, things are evolving. People are evolving so too quick fast. these days. Yes. Way too Shit's fast. Shit's just... Our big sister advice, basically, is don't grow up. No. Enjoy every second. Big sister advice with heartbreak. I feel like you're really good at giving advice about that stuff, though. I don't know though because I feel like I would cry with them like I'm very like especially when it comes to heartbreak mm -hmm. I like know that that shit just hurts it and does. and there's nothing that anyone it never can gets say. easier yeah it does with time but in the moment you literally mm -hmm. feel like you're dying and it's so crazy how much of an impact a person can make on you like I've definitely seen a lot of friends who are heartbroken and it's so hard to see people like that like honestly i would just be there for my sibling when they're heartbroken and just like really talk to them and try to rem remind them that they're the shit mm -hmm. without anybody with anybody and that just because somebody is leaving doesn't take anything from them and things are going to feel a little different for a while but that's okay and that I'm there to help them and to help them when they need it and I don't know I feel like I think Alexa said this but I've never really given been given the real opportunity to be the sister that I feel like I know that I am because me and my siblings just don't have that bond that's just the truth like we just really don't have that like we tell each other everything bond and I know that a lot of people probably don't have that with their siblings either. Mm -hmm. It's actually so. like a really like a super common thing. Yeah, everything you said. I would just honestly listen to them, let them cry, whatever they had to do. But I would remind them what their worth is, and we would get through it together. Yep. Because no one likes going through heartbreak alone. And if their boyfriend or girlfriend cheated on them, we'll go beat their ass. Mm -hmm. Um. On site. Because that's just what's what, on right demand. Do. On demand, baby. <laughs> My ultimate big sis advice would be, be your fucking self. Mm -hmm. Be your fucking self. Take no shit from nobody. Period. And just do your thing. And I feel like when you're a real ass person, people know that. <laughs> we are so lit that we're gonna end this big sis talk probably and go to the store so that we can try the fruit pull-ups and the sherbet or sorbet we're not sure yet we'll see when we get there but like we said be you baby be you love yourself work on yourself peace talk to love. somebody we love you guys exactly. peace and love. you matter i forgot we're gonna rap we're gonna do a number challenge where you have to go one two you know, and just go off the beep. I saw this on somebody's TikTok. I saw this on like a TikTok, but it was posted on Instagram. But we're gonna try it out. I got, I got this. You ready? Straight, nine, ten, I'm gonna fuck
don't drink that lean. 19, 20, the options are plenty. 21, 22, can't fuck with the fucking crew. 23, 24, keep your ass at the door. 25, 26, delete the fucking pics. 27, 28, the same up for the bay. 29, 30, yo ass is fucking dirty. 31, 32, I bet you'll fuck. sisterly but you guys get the point you get the boy you got it all right we're gonna go to the store now because we've been just chilling but we'll see you guys once we get there for real for real for real And I got these babies. I gotta hurry. I assume I'm gonna melt. Hey, this one, this one. Just a show. Okay. See, it's soft. It's okay, it'll still work. Bruh, can we just like cooperate? I hear it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the ASMR, bro. Dude, do you hear it? Mine didn't turn out as good as You're supposed to do it like this. No, I've seen them do it like this, like fold it. Oh. This is busting. Kind of hard to eat. Oh god. What do you rate it? Eight out of ten. Mm-hmm. I'd say same. Just kind of hard to eat. Is cool. Hard to eat, but satisfying. For sure. <laughs> Don't mind him. So now <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? 